What's going on y'all? It's Josh here. We're back with another video. All right y'all, today we're speaking to Trey. Trey is the cousin of Gina. If you remember Gina, we spoke to her mom and her son back in uh, March, I believe. Ms. Gina reached back out and said, hey, if you're in the area, I'd like for you to talk to Trey. So she tells me who Trey is and Trey's actually her cousin. Trey unfortunately lost his life, um, I think back in 2010, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, it was ruled actually a, a suicide. However, a lot of people, including Miss Gina, don't believe that. They believe that uh, there was possibly some foul play and somebody else involved. Um, a little bit of info, so Trey, Trey was in his 20s. Trey was successful, had a good job. He landed a good job early, right out of college, and uh, was able to buy a house. He got married. Unfortunately, during the birth of his child, his wife passed away. I'm just gonna kind of fast forward through this, kind of give you key points about this, and then we'll hear the rest from Trey and, and listen to his story. But uh, Trey, Trey's wife passed away during the childbirth, unfortunately. I couldn't imagine, that. that's horrible. After the passing, he ends up moving his mother-in-law in to, to help out with the baby. And you gotta think, he's a young man in his 20s. He's working, he's got a good job, he's successful. Um, he was planning on having a nice family and, and you know, raising a child with his wife and then she passed away during the childbirth. But he needed some help. So so he moved his mother-in-law in and uh, some time goes by. I'm just kind of fast forwarding here. There's a lot of in-between stuff that we're not gonna really cover, but some time goes by, he starts dating. He starts getting serious with a gal and the mother-in-law did not like that. She was upset. I'm sure she was. I mean, it's her her daughter's husband. Now he's moved on and is dating somebody else. And uh, she didn't like it. So long story short, one day Trey was home. They believe that he took his own life. Uh, however, the only people that really believe that are, I guess, the authorities because his family don't. His family said, hey, there's too much going on that, that's too suspicious. There's rumors that he locked himself in a room, but there was no lock on the door. There's rumors that he was shooting his gun uh, a week prior, practicing in the backyard, is what somebody told the investigators. However, no neighbors called the police. He lived in a subdivision, a really nice subdivision. Neighbors everywhere, nobody called the law and said, hey, there's a guy in the backyard shooting. So that was kind of debunked. There's no way to prove that. Um, and then there were some other things that took place. So I won't get too much in the details. I'm trying to keep this thing private as as private as I can, uh, out of respect for Trey and his family. Uh, and, and even, you know, there was no guilty verdict. So I'm not saying anybody had anything to do with it, but, uh, I'm trying to keep some privacy for the, the, the mother-in-law as well. He's the only one that knows the truth. Y'all, he knows the truth. Uh, nothing can be done about it now. Um, it's been a long time and a video like this isn't going to get justice, but at least he can get his truth out. He can get his word out. And maybe, just maybe his family get a little peace, a little closure, and uh, know that Trey's in peace and all right. So let's see what Trey's got to say, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, y'all, that's not a bad sunset to do a little conversation to, is it? Construction site off the highway, some ball fields in the background, but we're gonna make it happen, y'all. We're gonna make it happen. All right, Trey, my name's Josh, and. I'm actually a friend of your cousin Gina. Miss Gina wanted to come out and talk to you today, Trey. They, uh, her and, and several other members of your family have just some, I guess some suspicions about how you passed, Trey. Um, they love you, they miss you, they care about you. Miss Gina reached out and wanted to do this conversation with you and um, just to try to get a little closure, a little peace, and, and maybe get some answers if you're willing to share. Uh, we said a prayer earlier and uh, hopefully you heard it. Now we want to see if we have permission to speak to you. So Trey, my brother, do we have permission to to speak to you today? All right, Mike. On me, Trey, are you here, brother? I'm stuck. What? Are you here, Trey? Trey, we 
we have permission to speak to you? Sure you can. Okay, I heard that. All right, Trey. All right, I heard some confirmation. I also heard somebody say they're stuck. So whoever said they're stuck, and Trey, uh, if that's you, whoever it is, we're going to say a prayer for you before we leave. Um, we want you to know that. But, uh, Trey, we're going to go ahead and ask you a few questions, brother. Um, first of all, I wanna, we want to see how you're resting and if you're resting with your wife and your parents. So, Trey, are you resting with your wife and your parents? All right, Mike. And come on. Mike. Are you in peace? All right, Trey, we heard some confirmation that you're in peace, and that's that's great to hear. Um, we will have to go back. I'll have to go back and listen to your responses. That way your family, your, your uh, cousin Gina can hear them, and whoever else can listen to them. Um, but I want you to know that your voice and, and your words, your story will not go unheard, Trey. Uh, so, all right, Trey, my next question is, just so we know we're speaking to you, Brother, could you could you tell us the name of of your daughter? All right, Mike. Could you, could you st say your daughter's name? Shauna, are we okay? Mary Ellen, are we okay? Walter, sir, are we okay? All right. All right. I'm pretty sure I heard it the first time I asked, but I just wanted to double check. Um, so I have to again. You know, I have to go back and listen, but I just uh, I'm pretty sure I heard the name. So uh, okay. Well, that's good then. Uh, we did have some spirit guides come in. Thank you guys for for helping us navigate through this. We really appreciate it. Um, all right. So then, Trey, my next question to you, brother. Is, uh, there, there's a lot of speculation, Trey, about how you passed away and uh, your, your cousin Gina and other family were, ha, just have questions. They, they, they feel a little different about it. Um, so one thing we wanted to ask just to, to give Gina a little closure here is, Trey, um, was anybody, did anybody have a hand in your passing? Was anybody involved in that, brother? All right, Mike. And 
Some, I think some answers there. I'm not going to say anything out loud. Uh, I will say this light looking through the camera straight ahead looks like a cross in the background back there. Straight that way. See that? Very cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The light glaring. That's pretty cool. All right, Trey. My, my next question, and, and man, I, I'm not trying to be heavy or anything or disrespectful, but some of these questions are a little heavier. I'm sure you understand, and, and hopefully you respect that, sir. But um, a question we have... Trey, there was only two people and your daughter, your young daughter, at the home whenever you passed away. Um, the question I have is, was your passing self-inflicted or not, Trey? All right, Mike. What do you mean? I just... Rosemary. No way. Rosemary, ma'am, are we okay? another question that Miss Gina would like me to ask. Just look at my paper here. Do you do you go and visit your daughter and your, your family? I know you have a brother um, and, and some siblings, right, Gina? Brother and a sister, do you, Carson and Morgan. Do you stop in and check on your family? His daughter with his brother. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, All right, Mike. All right. 
I heard some 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 answers there, I believe. Wow. Um. So, Trey, uh, listen, I I know you probably haven't talked to anybody in this fashion before, and you probably have a lot to say. Um. So my next question is: Do you do you have anything you want your family, your loved ones, to know, uh, or anybody that's going to watch this? Do you have any any ad, maybe advice or anything you want to get off your chest about uh, your passing? All right, Mike. question mike um trey we really appreciate you talking to us brother and uh we're gonna get your uh your responses your words miss gina is gonna get a copy of this video so so you'll she'll have it and she can also go back and when she's missing you or thinking about you she can go back and play it and and, and hear some of your responses uh she wants you to know that she loves you misses you and cares about you and you meant a lot to her and uh, we just want you to know that. So, uh, real quick, Trey, could we come back and come out and speak to you again sometime? All right. Mm -hmm. The big button there. Well, hey, brother, bless you, and we just ask that you rest in peace and rest in light. 